first saw seeing Marcus and Shamori playing, did, did you really think these guys together could be good, or were you initially thinking, you know, one guy or one unit, one guy or the other? Um, I mean, when I saw them play together, they, they played really well too right away. Uh, I think is a better passer. And people, you know, he's a big scorer in high school. He's got really good uh, passing skills. He's very unselfish. Um, he doesn't play with the ball. He, he either makes his move or gives it up. So that's that's the biggest thing, you know. Um, small ball just didn't happen. Believe it or not, I played in it 30 years ago. Or whatever, 25. So the, the key is to share the ball and rebound. That's the biggest thing. Um, and for the most part, we, we do well. Tonight was a little, the ball was sticking a little bit. But um, overall, you know, when the ball's moving and, and they, they rely on each other, we're, we're going to be fine offensively. I thought defensively, we were, our energy and our communication was lacking. But, um, you know, uh, it's, you know, you can see that when the ball, you know, anyone can see that when, the, when, they, when they're sharing the basketball. You know, just, we didn't get as many stops tonight when we get out in, in the open court. Overall, you know, pretty good game. What exactly is it about their skill sets that make them gel so well together? Well, again, I mean, they got, you know, Marcus got great speed. Shamari's got great instincts, and he's, he's deceptively quick. Um, and when they beat their man, they, they know either to go finish, you know, where the next guy's going to be. And, and, and a lot of that is playing basketball. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, Lives, having good spacing and understanding your teammates. So, Chris, when you first, so yeah. when you first sort of start playing together and you know, practice or work as you're thinking, this is, this is good. This is something that can work. Yeah. What was it specifically about seeing like? Just that they move the ball. You know, you know anytime, you know, look, it's, again, like my, my experience has been, you know, you can put five, anything on the floor. If they're going to move the ball and and share it and, and understand each other, they're going to be fine. Yeah, you, you see that now in the end, they, they put any lineups out there. It's, it's really what you're doing. It's not so much predetermined like that both lefties are both six one or like that. That doesn't matter. How they play is the most important thing. Third on the left, Coach. Uh, Shamari led the team in rebounding and steals, side with Marcus and assists. Um, he seems to have his fingerprints just about all over the, the court. Was there any point in the game, especially in the second half, where um, maybe you guys, or maybe it happened amongst them too, where uh, Shamari said, I'm going to handle the ball, and Marcus moved kind of away from the ball because he uh, started hitting a few threes here and there and really started to shine offensively. No, again, ideally, when we get stops, either one of them can handle the ball. We want to get the ball off the floor as fast as we can and then get a good shot. Uh, so they, they both have the ability and, and the freedom to do that. I thought actually the first half, he was the reason we were lucky enough to have a lead. You know, he had a few key. Uh, Key shots. I thought he was defensively good, and, and like you said, he was our best rebounder. We got, we got to get better at that. Second row on the right. I know it's still a little, a little early, but Shamori's, I guess, has changed as he's adapted. Things moving a little in, in the right direction of where you expected them to be for this part of the year. This early for double. Shamari. Yeah. He, he individually is ahead of what I thought he would be, and probably more so um, IQ wise on the court. Uh, picking things up, being able to figure out if I throw different lineups out there where he can be effective. Um, so from that standpoint, um, you know, because again, you know, when you watch a kid in high school, you know, he was really a primary scorer. But his passing, his defensive uh, instincts are really good, and, and he picks things up quick. So, you know, I mean, not that I didn't uh, preconceive that, but as a young kid coming in, when you're going to throw a whole, whole, whole new system at him, he's, he's been really quick to pick. Mark. What does it say about those guys? Just their personalities as, as people. Because they were each of them was the guy, you know, for, for much of their lives. But they're they're you know learning to <clears throat> coexist and, and, and having the other one shine. I think that you know Marcus went and saw him play last year. I think they developed a little a little camaraderie last year. Um, and look, I share that with our guys all the time. I played on a really talented team as well. But if we don't play together, it means nothing. You're gonna lose. It's been proven time and time again throughout the history of this game. It's a team game. Um, the nice thing is our, our, we have a lot, blend of you know, uh, various talents. And not only it's nice to have them, but they do need each other. And if they don't um, 
if they don't play together, they're not going to win. You know, no, no matter how talented each guy is individually, they have to uh, play together, rely on each other. Um, to me, more so on the defensive end, because I think their instincts are good offensively. Um, so a lot of that too is like again, you know, we talk a lot about offensive. So we have a new, you know, a lot of these guys are learning our defense for the first time. It's not, uh, it's not going to happen right away. A lot of it is, you know. Communicating and talk to each other and having a feel there because there's a feel on defense as well, just like offense. So, um, and all we just gotta be patient and keep working at it, and you know, we should keep on getting better. Two more, Chris. Zach, uh, Chris, uh, you got a big test coming up on the road against Minnesota, a Big Ten team, and you have Michigan State coming down the pipeline. Uh, how big were these two? You know, solid victories, you know, for their confidence heading into those <coughs> games, and do you feel like you guys are? Prepared to take that next step and take on a good opponent on the road. I mean, again, you know, schedule laid out the way it is. We knew that was coming. Uh, we've been preparing, you know, daily, and uh, obviously going to be a step up physically. Uh, it's a physical conference; always has been. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so um, we'll prepare. And I told them, you know, especially on the road, when you on the road, you need, you really need each other. So yeah. let's, let's make sure we, we understand that and uh, we'll go out there and play our best. You think you guys are ready for that next step, though? We'll be there Friday, so. <laughs> <laughs> Zach? Yeah, I mean, uh, Chris, what, to have you know, guys, to have a guy with a little bit of power going to the other lefties who can shoot and get to the basket, what, what kind of advantage does that give you, you know, to have basically two point guards on the floor, both who can hurt you, hurt the other team? From the further end, by getting to the paint. Yes, yeah, it's, it's really. Um, you know, I love, I love. You know, again, you know, not not giving your history lesson, but for the most part, if you play five smalls against five bigs, five smalls are gonna win. Okay? I don't want to hurt any bigs' feelings, but that's <laughs> <laughs> um, again. So it's really how they play. You know what, what you know what their uh, approach to the game is, and both those guys. They are unselfish, they're very talented, they know how to score the ball, but more importantly, they don't overdo it, they share the ball. You know, tonight I thought in the second half especially, we talked about a lot is, you know, pass up a good shot and get your teammate a better shot. And I thought in the first half we struggled with that, second half we did a better job of that. Um, and look, the guard, you know, just like, you know, if you have a dominant big man, you, you, know, you can throw it down in the post and collapse the defense. You could also, nowadays, it's more off the dribble. So when you have guys that can get into the paint off the dribble, it's going to collapse defense, and they make good decisions. They can finish, they can find an open man, and that's what it's all about. I mean, both those guys are, um, are good at it.